Hello, everybody. Uh, I've had a lot of requests from homemakers on how to make a smaller batch without using a ton of different molds. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to make a mold batch out of a flat rate priority small box. So wait for it and I will put it here. Okay, so hopefully by now you've done your little box and you've lined it and everything here. This is a one and a half pound batch that with its water weight will fill this perfectly. Now, the scent we're going to work on today is Snow Angels. This is a beautiful scent. It is buttercream frosting with a hint of peppermint. It's a uh, Yankee dupe. It is medium to light. It's not a hardcore heavy peppermint fragrance so don't be afraid of it it does however discolor to a dark dark brown hence the reason we're going to do a flat rate box instead of the tall stand-up loaf mold you guys usually see me do with testing batches because we know this is going to go dark brown i'm going to leave a portion of it unscented for the top snow angels got to look like snow right so I want the top to be white with some pretty blue swirled through it so the base will be fully fragranced and it'll be dark brown but the top will be white with a pretty blue hint of accent in it and covered in uh, diamond dust sparkles for the snow effect so this way I can get a truly full soaping bar that's gonna have lots of that pretty effect instead of just a little tip at the top okay so in the beginning of the video, you should have seen the recipe flash. Again, I'm doing a high olive oil whenever I test fragrances, just so I don't have to worry about them moving too fast on me. I've never soaked this before, so we will see. Okay. I'm just going to bring it up to a light trace because, again, I haven't soaked this before, so I'm not sure how it's going to react. It should soak just fine. It doesn't have any heavy florals or anything in it, and generally those are the ones that go kind of crazy on you. Okay. Now, before I add my fragrance, we're going to separate. I want mostly a white top, okay, with a little bit of blue accent, so I don't need a lot of that one, and then the rest is going to be the fragrance. So I'm going to do my colors before I even bothered with that. Paper towel. Okay, I've got titanium and water mixed up in my little bottle. That's for my white. 
And then I've got the beautiful neon blue. It's my favorite blue on Nature's Gardens blends. A little bit of blue. There we go. And we're gonna give those a quick stir. Do your light colors first to your dark. A little bit more titanium in that. I wanted a brighter white. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now over to my blue. more of a blue than that so a little bit more of course that does look like the blue from frozen Because it's so low, I'm just going to give it a little hand stir as well. Sometimes you can't get it when it's not a lot with a stick blender. fragrance in. It's going to go dark chocolate brown. So even though it's light now, it won't stay that way. I'm going to let this set up a little bit, and when it's nice and firm, we're going to come back and add our topping. Okay, so it's set up enough now for us to move on to the next stage. We're going to now add our white to the top. And if you pour over a spatula or a spoon, it'll come keep it from pushing too far down into your base so it doesn't discolor in there. Of course, unless you want it to. There we go. So I'm just going to pour all that out. Scrape that off. Okay. And I'm going to use Oh, there goes my timer. I'm going to use this just to make sure I've got it all in every corner. Okay. And now, here comes our blue. Now, I'm probably not going to use all of this, but I am going to drizzle. Now, I know it doesn't look like much now, but bear with me. There is a method to my madness. So, a couple of lines. Like that. Okay, set that aside. And here comes a stick or the back of a knife or anything of that nature. And this is where we're going to start just through the top. Don't puncture too far below. And just drag it through. 
and you start seeing some pretty little designs come through. Okay. Now we're going to go down through that, up through that, down through that, up through that, down through that, and up through that. There we go. Now we're going to add our glitter. Okay, and we are done. Now, I personally like to gel my soaps, so I'm going to pop this into an oven for about half an hour at 175. Turn the oven off and just leave it in for a few hours after that. You don't have to. You can leave it be as it is if you like a nice pure cold process. And there you go. I'll be back when it's time to cut. Okay, guys, it is ready to come out. Now bear in mind, again, the bottom of this is going to go brown, like dark chocolate brown. So right now, it doesn't look like such, but it will. Okay, and since I'm freehand doing this, No, no. What do we got? Five across. So that is my halfway mark. Been a long time since I free hand to cut a uh, soap. How about you, Donna? Uh, <laughs> yeah, about that long. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do two and a half inches up. Let's see, we've got eight, two, four. So I do two and a half. Two and a half. Two and three quarters. Two and a half. Six bars out of that. Nice full size. Again, that's going to go dark brown. Okay. And then your snowy top. And I'll clean all that up. Let me see how much it's going to weigh out. So these are coming out at 5.3 ounces. So by the time they cure up, they'll just be a little under five ounces, between four, four and a half and five ounces. So nice size bar of soap. You get six bars out of one flat rate box with a one and a half pound recipe. There you go, guys. There is Snow Angels. Again, this is a light to medium scent, so do it at the full rate it recommends and you'll get a nice, nice soap out of that.